lifesaver driving. Well, hello. It's been a while since I've done one of these types of vlogs and certainly today, I'm gonna to be getting into some of that. I think the thing I really wanna focus on today will be centered around content. Making content, creating content, uh, and consuming content. And today, although I'll be heading to Disney, this is less of a Disney vlog and more of a deep dive into content. Let's go. Just made it to Hollywood Studios and I was hoping to make it on time so I can join the virtual queue for Rise of the Resistance. Uh, if you haven't been on it, my goodness, it is uh, probably the best attraction experience you can be on. But I certainly won't be making it because you've got to be inside the park uh, before 10 or by 10. Um, so they can join the queue, which usually fills up in like, I don't know, 30 seconds or less. Uh, but this is what I'm contending with. Certainly a lot of people here today, uh, given that it is a Monday, there's no holiday happening, I mean, schools are in. Um, so I'm really curious to see what the inside looks like. Definitely caught a bit off guard today, but it's all good. I guess you'll be seeing what it looks like inside too. And if you've been following my uh, Honey Pot Explorers Instagram account, you'll know that Disney has really taken all the right precautions and have continually updated them. There's a ton of videos on YouTube about that. Uh, this necessarily isn't going to be that, but I can honestly say I have felt safer here than I've felt going to a supermarket, you know, Target, Walmart, those places. Here, everyone has to comply. There's no way around it. And sure, you may have some rule breakers here and there, but they will get called out. When you contrast that with the experience you get at supermarkets, gas stations, stores, whatever, people intentionally break the rules and there's no one really enforcing them. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Disney's experience and uh, Universal for that matter too. So we said we we're gonna talk about content, so let's talk about it. And you know, I'll tell you 2020 has not been the year where I have been focused on creating content. I have really taken a back seat and taken to consuming content, which is completely different. And when I think about creating content and content creators or however you want to call it, right? I, I think that there's some artistry in all that. And so I see my cameras, my lenses as my paintbrushes. And I see these platforms like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok um, as the canvas. And so I want to start to create more. And so what I want to do is that I want to get back to creating content. You know, something interesting happened the last few days. And before I share what that all is, let me tell you that everything I'll be talking about today will be uh, in the description down below. Uh, links and all that good stuff, whatever I can link here, I will do. 
So it serves as an easy reference point to pick any of these things. You know, a few years ago I recorded a video about dealing with like the fear of blogging and creating content out in public and in the open. And as much as I like to think I am outgoing and love doing all that, which I do, uh, there's also a part of me that's very shy and reserved. And some of you may know that who know me personally. And so it is this conflict of the two things uh, that I'm always up against. Uh, but anyway, back to what happened a few days ago, uh, Casey Neistat, who has been an inspiration for the style of the vlogs uh, that I've done, along with the micro vlogs, uh, which I took from Jesse Driftwood, came back. You know, Casey Neistat had taken some time off from vlogging for different projects and things like that. And seeing him put together his work again has inspired me to get back out there and do the things that I want to do. So, what you can expect to see the rest of 2020 and beyond is more content from me. And not just any type of content. The type of content, I'm not 100% sure yet. If you have a suggestion based on what you've seen or that you know about me, leave that in the comments below and I'd love to know what you're thinking about. But what I can tell you is that regardless of the type of content, I wanna make sure that I'm producing high quality content. Content for all of us to consume and enjoy. I also wanna put out a call out there to any of the creators that want to collaborate and work together. I think there's a lot to be said about what we can learn from each other. So if you're interested in that, hit me up. All right, and if you can see where I'm at, I am heading out, uh, about to go get some lunch from a really, really good Orlando spot. This reminds me of that TikTok song. And if you haven't heard it, this is it. Disney take my money, money, my money, money, my money, money. Too expensive for me. Disney Gringo's Locals here in Orlando. I actually had a run inside after being outside and getting that footage of the food because uh, it started raining. Um, so I'm inside now. So I'm gonna eat this up and then we're gonna wrap up this vlog. Cheers. So now I'm editing the vlog, which is cool. It's part of the creative process that I really enjoyed with creating something like this, you know? It's almost like an all day event. But anyway, to wrap things up, what you can expect to see, and I hope you're subscribed, is content coming your way. And like I said before, if there's something you recommend or you like to see based on the things that you know that I'm into, make sure you drop that in the comment below. Like this video, all that helps the YouTube algorithm so that more people can also see this content. Uh, but I just wanna hop back to the Disney thing real fast um, because I know I left that a bit unresolved. So Star Tours, uh, which I don't normally wait more than 20 minutes for. Listen, I enjoy the ride, I think it's a great one. Uh, it's simple, it's fun. In addition to me having a 30 minute rule, I don't normally wait more than 20 minutes for that ride. Uh, and today that was at 60 minutes. Um, you know, the thing to note here is that although Disney is nowhere near capacity, um, their actual capacity, 
I think the rumors are there's somewhere between 25 and 30 percent right now. The park is definitely big enough to handle all the people that were showing up this morning. Uh, but for the most part, the park didn't feel too busy, as you could see when I was walking out of Hollywood Studios. In conclusion, I do just want to thank you for uh, coming along on this journey with me. And I hope that you'll be along for the rest of the ride. And until the next video, I'll check you guys out. Peace. Disney, take my money, 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 money.